Hey guys, Phil here. This is a follow-up to my video installing Home Assistant with Docker on a Synology NAS. If you haven't checked out that video, be sure to go back and watch that first and set up your disk station. In this video, I'm going to be setting up Home Assistant using Docker, but this time with support for a Z-Wave radio. As before, all the commands I'm going to be running here will be on the blog post, which I'll link in the description. So let's log back into our disk station via SSH and I've got running as the root user, not using admin. Now I've plugged my USB stick into a port on my disk station. To find out where it is, I'm going to use the following command, ls forward slash dev forward slash tty usb star. And that tells me that I have tty usb zero, as a device plugged into my Synology NAS. Be sure to check out the Home Assistant website. There are a few other commands that you may be able to use if this doesn't show up with anything. So let's take a note of this. Let's take our existing Docker run command and we've modified it slightly. Here we've added a device flag. This is going to tell Docker to attach the USB device at dev tty usb zero to the new container, which is what we ran here. So let's go ahead and run that. And once again, we get our Docker ID. At this point, we just have a vanilla Home Assistant. We need to go ahead and configure Home Assistant for Z-Wave. Let's open up our configuration.yaml file on the Synology. We're gonna copy the settings from the Home Assistant website, and we're just gonna put in Z-Wave, USB path, dev tty usb zero, which is the same path we found before. So now let's go ahead and restart our home assistant. Now let's just wait for home assistant to boot up. And here we go. Now we have all of these little icons, a climate and some switches. These are all my Z-Wave devices, which are already linked to the Z-Wave radio. That means Z-Wave is now working. We'll have to use groups and customized YAML settings to make these look a little bit more smarter and group them all together, which we can cover off later. Now some Z-Wave devices like motion sensors require you to go in and change some configuration parameters. There's a configuration service which was added in 0.30, but it's not the most intuitive. I found it easier to use Demotics, another open source home automation system to configure my Z-Wave devices. I'm sure there's other ways as well, like using Open Z-Wave Control Panel, whatever works best for you. As we're using Docker, let's spin up a Demotics on our Synology. So first of all, we need to stop Home Assistant. Now that Home Assistant is stopped, we can run a Demotics container using the following command. This is very similar to the command we use for Home Assistant. Once again, the network equals host, and we've also attaching the Z-Wave radio to device dev tty usb zero. And that will go ahead and download this repository quantum object docker demotics. So I'm gonna replace 8123 with 8080, get rid of the states, and this is gonna load up demotics for us. So from the setup menu here, I'm gonna to go to hardware. I've already set it up, but here you would type, you would go down into type here, and you would find under O is the open Z-Wave USB, and you would just put in that serial port there. As I said, I've already done this, so I'm gonna go into the setup flag here and not all devices have been queried yet, so it's not fully initialized, but these are all my Z-Wave devices that I've got linked. And from here, we can actually access the open Z-Wave control panel. So we can go under node management and go to control panel. And this is the open Z-Wave control panel. Now it's important that you don't run Demotics and Home Assistant at the same time. So from here, I can click on, for example, my Smart Switch 6, 
and we have the current values and then there is the configuration options here which I can change. There's a lot more resources and information on all the things you need to know about changing their web devices which I'm not going to cover off here. One thing that you do know, once you have made any changes, you can go up back into Demotics and into the Z-Wave setup again and under node management you can click download configuration file. That's going to download an XML file which you'll need to keep in your home assistant configuration directory which we can see in here is my Z-Wave config and that random ID which is my Z-Wave ID there. It's important that whenever you make changes from Demotix or Open Z Web Control Panel that you update this cache file here before you restart Home Assistant. So let's close down Demotix. And we'll now let's restart Home Assistant. And assuming that we didn't break anything, which we shouldn't have, Home Assistant should now be back available on our 8123 port and there it is. That's it, we now have Home Assistant working with Z-Wave on our Synology. The only issue I've yet to solve with having my Z-Wave radio hooked up to my Docker image is Synology NAS reboots. Check my blog post in the description below for what you have to do if you come across the same issues. From here, be sure to check out the Home Assistant website there's a ton of resources available to read there to get you started. Cheers.